Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to prove that two triangles are congruent. Okay, so the general rule, the rule is if two triangles are congruent, then all sides and all angles are congruent. So you think about that. If we have two triangles, we got this triangle, we got this triangle, then we have to prove that this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side. That's three pairs of sides. And then we have to prove that this angle is congruent to this angle, and then this angle is congruent to this angle, and then this angle is uh, congruent to that angle. That's that's six things. If we were to make a flow chart, that would be six bubbles that we have to to draw and make and fill in and everything uh, to prove that the two triangles are similar or not similar, congruent, congruent, congruent. However, I'm going to show you today two shortcuts out of the five shortcuts there are. So there are uh, yeah, there are five shortcuts. One, two, three four, five shortcuts uh, to prove that two triangles are congruent. We don't have to do all six. Uh, and no matter what, if you show that um, any of these shortcuts, that they'll be congruent to each other. That if I took this triangle and rotated it and moved it and moved it, that triangle would fit right on top of the other triangle. So the first two shortcuts I'm going to show you to prove two triangles are congruent are side, side, side congruency. Don't say similarity. Uh, we're talking about congruency this time. These two triangles will be the exact same size, not dilations of each other. And the second shortcut will be side angle, side congruency. And then in another video, I'll show you three, four, and five, the other three shortcuts. But today we're going to focus on these two shortcuts, side, side, side congruency and SAS congruency. All right, let's do our first example. Make sure you wrote this in your notebooks. Press pause. Draw this in your note. Draw this in your notebooks, and um, yeah, let's let's get it started. Use a flowchart to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So again, just so that you know what congruency means, that means that this triangle, if we reflected it, reflected it, uh, this triangle would, or just reflected it. No, just need one reflection. That this one triangle would fit perfectly on top of this triangle. All the angles would be congruent, all the sides would be congruent. Um, but we're going to show you that we don't need to do all six, we just need three bubbles. So, let's see what they give us. Um, they, give us they give us this. Okay, so uh, let's draw our first bubble. Well, we need at least three bubbles. We could have more bubbles. But for this, we need uh, we need three that talk about sides or angles. So let's see what they give us. Uh, they say that um, that here's this tick mark and here's this tick mark. So that means that this side is congruent to this side. So let's put that into our bubble. Let's write uh, W Z is congruent to W Y. Uh, that just means that this side is the exact same length as this side. Let's put a little line right here that says that this line segment is congruent to this line segment. So if this is 5, then this would be 5 also. In the past, uh, when we were doing similarity, if you remember doing flow charts with similarity, we would write the length over the other length. Um, but here, since they're the exact same thing, they have one tick mark, one tick mark, we're going to write it saying that they are congruent to each other. And the reason given okay another bubble which I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bubble here and I'm gonna put another bubble over here I'm gonna skip this bubble for now and I'm gonna fill in this bubble what else do we have we have two tick marks here and two tick marks here uh, so we can write uh, VW or WV whichever order you want so I'm gonna put VW you can run WV if you want is congruent to WX or XW doesn't matter still the same segments but they are congruent 
two tick marks and two tick marks say says that they're both the same length this could be seven feet this could be seven feet ten feet ten feet whatever just means that they're the same and the reason given because those tick marks are there now we need our, our two choices are prove it by SSS sim congruency side 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 congruency or side angle side congruency so what's gonna be in this bubble well we don't have any congruent symbols here we don't have any tick marks saying that this side right here VZ is congruent to this side right here XY but 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 these angles right here what kind of angles are there yeah they're vertical angles so we can put an arc here and an arc here and if you remember uh, from when you very first when you were just a baby in geometry uh, that vertical angles the opposite angles in an X uh, they're the exact same measure they're they're con they're congruent so what's the name of this angle right here don't say angle W because there's four angle W's let's look in closely so if we were to trace this angle, this angle right here, what three points would we need? V, W, Z. So angle V, W, Z is congruent, V, W, Z. And then go with X, W, Y. Angle X, W, Y. And what's the reason? It's not given because we drew these arcs here. But the reason is, why are they congruent? What kind of angles are they? They're vertical angles. That is the reason. Now, do we have enough bubbles to satisfy either side, 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 or side, angle, side? Yeah, uh, because we, we talked about this side, these this pair of sides being congruent, this pair of angles being congruent, and this pair of sides being congruent we have three bubbles that talk about things being congruent so we can make our final bubble our conclusion bubble don't forget your arrows arrow 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 and we can say that triangle okay now let's go in order see how there's one arc or one tick mark here and two tick marks here okay so we're gonna go from one to two so z w v z w v is congruent not similar and I know I keep saying similar but congruent okay and we're gonna go from one to two tick marks so one tick mark Y W to X so Y W X okay so Z W V one tick mark two tick marks Y W X one tick mark two tick marks and they're congruent to each other why because this pair of sides uh, these are congruent, this pair of angles are congruent, and this pair of sides are congruent, so it's side, angle, side, congruency. There you go. So, that's, we proved our first, um, first pair of triangles being congruent by using side, angle, side, congruency. Alright, example number two. Use a flowchart to prove that the two triangles are congruent. Draw this in your notebooks, and then let's let's draw some bubbles. So let's see what we've got here. Let's always start with the givens. Um, what do we have that's given? What do we have that they already put in there that the problem gave us? We have AD is congruent to BC or CB, whatever order you want. Just make sure you're talking about the same. Oops, same line segment. So AD, BC. And the reason? Given. Uh, let's put a blank bubble here and let's put another bubble over here. Uh, and let's talk about AB, side AB, is congruent to side DC because they have two tick marks. And those tick marks are already there, so it's given. Now, hmm, we need three bubbles to say that some sides or angles are congruent. Right now we only have two, but let's look at this. Let's look at it closer, 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 closer. Do these two triangles share a side? Do they? 
It looks like they do. It looks like this triangle on the left, triangle uh, ABD, has side BD. It looks like this triangle on the right, CDB, also has side BD. So they both share that side. They both have this side right here. So this side is congruence itself. We could say that BD is congruent to BD itself. And we could talk about that because both of these triangles share that side. And anything is congruent to itself. And the reason, well, what, what do you see in the mirror? When you look at the mirror, your reflection and you're congruent to yourself. So the reason here is, don't say reflection though, is reflexive. Reflexive. Uh, a side is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property. You're congruent to yourself because of the reflexive property. Now, let's look at what we have here. Do we have three bubbles that talk about being congruent? Yeah, one congruent, two congruent, three congruent. So now we can say our final bubble, triangle. Now let's go from, let's talk about this triangle first. Go from uh, one tick mark to two tick marks. So D, A, so one tick mark to two tick marks. B, so triangle D, A, B is congruent to triangle B, C, D. One tick mark, two tick marks. So B, C, D. Don't forget your arrows. And the reason, well, this congruent bubble is a side, pair of sides. This congruent bubble, pair of sides. This congruent bubble, pair of sides. So our final reason for saying that these two triangles are congruent is side, side, side congruency boom look at that we just proved that these two triangles are congruent all right so let's look at this use a flow chart to prove that the two triangles are congruent before making a flow chart let's just look at it let's let's analyze this if you look at this this looks like side angle side just from this left triangle because the angle is sandwiched by the two sides the tick marks angle sandwich s a s well, let's look at this. Okay, is the angle sandwiched here? Are they? No, this looks like A, S, S. What? Or S, S, A. So clearly, whichever order you go, A, S, S, or S, S, A. Hmm. Don't try to, don't try to pronounce the word that it spells. Sa. Um. It doesn't. They're not corresponding. So um, remember, SAS, the angle has to be sandwiched between the two sides. This angle is not sandwiched by the two sides. So uh, for this, we're going to say not congruent. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't know yet. We, we, not possible. We can't, we can't prove it. So yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, this one's different. Okay, what additional information is required in order to show that the triangles are congruent for the reason given? Okay, so what additional information? So this one, it doesn't say draw a flow chart. It just says, okay, we want to prove these two triangles are congruent by side, 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 congruency. So other than the givens, here's the givens. What else has to be congruent for this for this triangle to be congruent to this triangle using side 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 congruency hopefully you understand what the question is asking for it's not even a question it's a statement there's no question mark uh, so it just says prove these two triangles by side 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 congruency what else has to be known or true it has to be true that another pair of sides has to be congruent so w u oh let's just put one tick mark because they already put one, two, three. And then RP. So WU has to be congruent to RP. So WU congruent to RP. And that's it. That's the additional information required to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle for side, side, side congruency. All right. And the last one, state what additional information is required to, in order to show that the triangles are congruent for the reason given. And the reason given is side, angle, side, congruency. And look at this A. This A is sandwiched by the two sides. 
sandwich 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 so we want an angle to be sandwiched by the two sides that are that are congruent that have tick marks um, so here are the tick marks here's one tick mark here's two tick marks where does that sandwich have to be angle s and here's one tick mark here's two tick marks so where's the sandwich these two think about the, these two as the bread here's the peanut butter um, and so angle V so what additional information do we need we need to know that angle S is congruent to angle V. And that's it. There's our answer. All right. So this is an introduction on how to prove that two triangles are congruent using side, side, side congruency and side, angle, side, congruency. All right. Have a nice day.